So, what do you got to say? What's your opinion? What's your two cents? Who's responsible? It's everybody's responsibility to, to make sure that everyone is feeling safe and not just their own. And if you feel like it's just me and my three, or you and your two, we're starting out with a losing hand. Everybody has the responsibility to make a difference. And everybody has the power to be the difference. And everybody has to make sure they do everything in their power to make sure this happens on a daily basis. Not just when there's a school shooting, not just when there is something happening to their children, because what is happening to our children is happening to someone else's children. And we don't need to march. We don't need school meetings. We don't need to gather together and create new laws. What we need to do is we need to become better people. And we need to accept the responsibility that is our own responsibility. It's no one else's responsibility to take care of society and make a difference in society, make a difference in the world. It's our responsibility. And once we do that, oh, what a world we will become. Once we know what our job is, what our role is, and what we can contribute to the solution. Because a solution is not going to solve or rectify or clear up itself. We are the solution. And we are the one that's going to make the difference. And nobody is coming to save us. And nobody's coming to sit back and say, hey, look, you know what? I saw your kid and I wanted to help you with your kid. Because we don't want to feel like we owe somebody when it comes to our children. And we don't want to stick our neck out and push to help someone else's children. So what happens? What will happen? Is this problem ever going to be resolved? Is it ever going to be fixed? Are we going to rely on the government to be the ones fixing it? Are we going to rely on the pastors to be the ones that's fixing it? Are we going to rely on politicians to figure out where it is and what it is that they're going to do as it relates to our children and the world and the school? That's a tough question to answer. The answer is as simple as yes. It's everybody's job. It's everybody's responsibility. It's everybody's burden. It's everybody's world. It's everybody's child. And we are the ones that have to make the difference. And it's not gonna go away, folks. This present state of mind this very present danger that we're dealing with in society is not going to go away. It's just not. And if you don't feel like it's your job, then guess what? Somebody else is going to take up the reins and somebody else is going to accept the responsibility and somebody else is going to call the shots as it relates to your children, as it relates to your future, as it relates to your posterity. You have to be the one to make the difference and call the shots. And when you're calling the shots, and when you see something that is not perfect or something that you feel would need some adjustments and need some corrections, you have to reach out. Not only for your own, but for your neighbor, for your sister, for your brother, for your cousin. Everybody has a responsibility to be the difference in the life of everyone else. And if you're gonna send your children to the school without a clear idea of what is expected of them, they're gonna to go to the school and they're gonna take whatever people give to them. If you send your children to a school where they are not having their needs met, they're gonna become bored and they're gonna connect with people that maybe you don't want them to be around. But we create the situation and the scenario for our children. We create it, and we create the world the way it is now. And now we're relying on outsiders, anybody, nobody, somebody, politicians, teachers, pastors, somebody do something and fix this problem. The problem 
is everybody's problem. The antidote is everybody's antidote. Everybody has the power to make the difference, and you make the difference by being the difference. When your children don't know why they go to school and they don't know what's expected of them, and this child goes to school and doesn't know what's expected of them, you have a situation and a scenario where everybody's confused about what roles that they play. And when you're concerned about what's going on and you're not part of the solution, you need to consider the fact that you may be part of the problem. We have to make sure that our schools are safe by creating an atmosphere among us, among our children, among our neighbors, among our neighbors' children where kids understand that everybody's responsible for each other. Now, as I said before, bullies have always existed. Bullies are the reason why many people are the people that they are today, because they went through a situation that they didn't understand, that they felt like they were alone, and they had no one seemingly to support them. And they went through it, and they were better on the other side. But there is another group of kids that are being bullied that don't have the strength. They don't have